welcome students so in the last video we had seen about the practical number 6a and now we are looking in this video the practical 6b the 6b says create a web application to display the records by using database now when looking at the manual of mumbai university i come to know what they need they says that we have a customer details and from the customer detail whenever you give a click on a display record the customer city and state must be displayed so what we need to have we need to have a customer table and then further we need to go with uh, retrieving the city and state from the customer table and those city and state must be displayed on this particular label so let us consider how we can develop this particular small program so first i am just closing this particular project created by me uh, and i am creating a new project here instead of new project i am selecting asp.net web application given a click on next i'm giving the name of the project as practical 6b then given a click on create so this here i'm creating the empty application and i need to create a customer table inside my database now already a database is present so database named as your bscit so i give a right click on a table select the option called add new table and interested in creating the customer table and interested in adding some few records into it so let us concentrate how we can go on creating the table you can decide the column as per your own requirement might be i will be taking customer id customer name customer age customer email address and many of them id is already there it is the primary key okay fine next time providing c name for what your customer name providing the data type as varkar 50 further providing the uh, column maybe as customer email and the providing the data type as varkar 50 then providing the customer city as varkar 50 and then providing the state uh, and here i am again providing the varkar 50 so fine table has been created you please give a click on this particular option uh, you are having the option called as a swap you can just go for update so update will be what updating this particular uh, script and the table will be added so i am not generating the script um, let's me check my student says okay it is var binary i may be checking it over here as var kar 50 i am just recording the video in between my lecture only so here i am just given a click on update so we'll find uh, and it asks me that do you would like to go for creating this table etc i said don't go for generating the script just update the database so you will find a new table get created over here named as what here a table only so the table name over here is a uh, table only so the same table is what been created here so if you right click on this tables and select the option as refresh you will find a new table get created Uh, so if you want you can just provide the name of the table as the customers in that query but right now i had just kept the table as same as table only but you can decide whatever the name you would like to provide to the table that can be provided by suppose you are interested in changing then this environment will not be uh, useful for you to change the table name then you require to work with the sql a server management studio and this management studio will be helping you to rename the tables etc so i'm keeping the management studio open and till the time it is getting open i am completing my designing part of this particular uh, requirement of practical 6b so i need to create a new web page so i give a right click selected the add and selecting the option called as web form given the name of this web form as maybe customer detail given a click on okay now going to design i just hide this tool what i am expecting over here i am expecting to add one label which will be showing me the customer details as a text on it so providing the text as customer details further i am keeping one another label this label i am expecting to be displaying the content to be displayed as city and the state further i am giving a click on a button so when the user clicks on a button which is what display record 
So at the time, the data from the customer table need to be retrieved and need to be displayed on this label, which is right now named as what we can say L label 2. I just tried to give the name of this label as uh, LBL result. So I had given the name of this label as LBL result and removed the text. I had kept the text as bank. One more thing we required to complete first. We required to complete a task which we need to do it in a web.config. Already in the last video also I had told you that it's better to go for storing the connection string in the web.config instead of writing everywhere wherever is required. Because if you are writing the connection string wherever it is required, what will happen? When you need to change this, you have to go to those many places and go for changing the connection string. So maintenance is going to be very difficult and if you forget to change the connection string at one place, again everything will be what we can say a difficult situation for you. So it is better to go for keeping the connection string in the web.config. So I am following the same principles. So I am going to solution explorer, go into the web.config and here after the system.web, I am adding the tag called as the connection string and inside the connection string, I am adding the new connection string, the name of the connection string I am providing as C1 and I need to provide the value of what we connection string. Then what should be the value which I require to put it on a connection string. So here it comes. This is the VSIT demo. Quite easy. Right click. Select the option. Somebody says that sir, you can see VSIT here because you have created database create kiya hua hai. but mere pe dikhta nahi. then what I should do. So it is quite easy to do it. Suppose I am deleting this connection now. Okay, so this is removing the database connection. Even if I am removing all these connections, I am deleting all these connections. Okay, so all these connections are what been removed by me and then I would like to go for uh, specifying my new connection. So how can I specify the new connection? You can give a right click, you can say delete. Okay, I am deleting all the connections. Let it be as it is, how it has been shown with your Visual Studio. So fine, all the connections got deleted and would like to create a new connection over here. You can create a database over here also by giving the right click. You can select the option called that create a new SQL server database or you can just say add connection. Now currently my server over here is named as SQL Express and I am using Windows authentication. There are two types of authentication, Windows authentication and SQL server authentication. So you can either go with the operating system credentials or you can work with the SQL server credential. But I am interested in working with what here? Operating system credential. And selecting the database over here as BSCIT. I had tested the connection. Connection is successful. Then give a click on OK. So you will find the connection got established over here. Right click on the connections. Go to properties. Select the connection string. Copy the connection string. And paste it over here inside your web.config. So my task has been completed over here, whatever I need to do it. Now the next step is first, I would like to change the name of the table. As I told you, over here in this server explorer, it's quite difficult for us to do it. So I just open my SQL Server Management Studio. I had connected with my SQL Express. There is a separate video, how to work with the SQL Server Management Studio. Definitely you can view those video. Under that, we have a database named as BSCIT. Under that, we have a table which is named as a table only. So I just give a right click on this and here you will find the option the rename and you can just give a name of the table as what you required. Suppose I am giving the name as what your customer or you can write the SQL query which allows you to rename the table. So now uh, task has been completed. The customer table has been present now. Web.config we had added the connection string also. Now I require to write the code for the button. This is quite an easier code. First, add the namespaces which are required. So, I added the namespaces by saying using system.data, then providing using system.data.sql client, as well as I am trying to go for importing the namespace that is system.web.configurations because I would like to retrieve the connection string from the web.config, which is done by using what here? Web configuration manager present inside system.web.configuration. So I'm using a try catch. You know that uh, if suppose any exception occur, then that exception need to be handled. So I'm using try catch over here. 
I don't want to write multiple exceptions, so I'm writing a single exception over here. And the superclass exception is being written by me. So this is the generalized exception, right? Generalized catch. Now I'm just keeping my label to LBL result is what my label is. So I'm writing LBL result dot text is along with what the exception message. I can add up my own message that is contact admin along with the exception message. So administrator can understand what is the problem and he can find the solution and that solution can be updated with the next update. So here first I need to go for creating the connection. But for connection I need to have a connection string. So I am creating a string variable saying string con str equal to web configuration manager dot connection strings. In that you will find a connection string named as the C1 and uska jo property a connection string that has been set by us, right? So con str consists of what connection string now? Now this connection string I am using for opening the SQL connection. So I just say and comment retrieve connection string from web.config. And you can get the connections directly in the connection object also. But the program is little bit complicated in that way. That is the reason I am taking another variable. Normally there is no need of taking the con str. Directly passing web.configuration, web configuration manager connection string inside the SQL connection also. That is also okay. So retrieve the connection string from the web.config. The next task which I am doing it is what? Establish connection. How to do it? SQL connection. Con equal to new SQL connection. Which required a connection string which is our con str. Right? Then I would like to open a connection. So I am writing con dot open. What the next step you would like to do? Next step is what? Uh, create command. What is the command? Everybody knows SQL query is a command. Right? So here I am writing SQL command. CMD equal to new SQL command. In the bracket the query which you would like to write. Now currently I would like to retrieve the city and state. So here I am writing select city comma state from customer. And this query need to be retrieved from the connection object which is named as con. Right? So command object has been created. And now next is what? This command need to be executed. A record need to be retrieved and stored somewhere. So here I am saying execute command. This command is a select query. So it will be written in the record. So execute command and get output inside SQL data reader sql data reader is not, the name itself is specifying you it means the one which is reading the data so here i am writing sql data reader sorry not adapter to so sql data reader dr equal to cmd dot execute reader so command will be executed records are retrieved and been stored inside the data reader object which is named as what here dr. Now what next I am interested? I am interested in iterating between the dr. I am interested in what iterating between what here dr. How can I iterate between a dr? Simple I can write while dr dot read. What read does? Read will go to the next record returns true or false. If it does not go successfully to the next record it will return false. So when you are at the end of the record it will be returning you what? False. So here it comes. I am using the while loop, and here I just mentioned a label one dot text equal. Oh no no no! For our uh, result need to be displayed in what we can say our LBL result. No? So I just write LBL result dot text equal to no record found. So by default it will be having a contains as no record found. And if the records are present, then those records will be what? Added. So first, I would like to check whether it has a record, it does not have the record. If it has a record, then now we need to go on adding the content. So no record found, but there is a problem. I need to concatenate the value. I need to what? Concatenate the value. So I just take one string variable as string output equal to blank. 
and here I am writing it as what output plus equal to dr data reader. Then you have to specify the column. So I provide the column number as 0 plus put as a blank space plus dr of 1 plus a br tag for a library because as we are displaying on label we need to have what a br tag. So the string variable output will be containing all the record and then I will be checking at the end. Suppose you don't want this to be done. No issues. You can make it empty and come over here then check if output is equal to equal to empty. So output is a string variable. It does not have any value. Then do one thing. Then write lbl result dot text equal to record not found. And else I am writing here as lbl result dot text equal to out. Fine. Now you know that if a single statement is there after the while or after the if or after the else, then you are keeping the blocks or you are not keeping the block, it does not create any issue. Right? So I am just removing that so that the lengthy code will be what short now. But if you are getting confused, then it is better to provide the blocks wherever you want. But if a while loop followed by a single line, if a condition followed by a single line, if else followed by a single line, if it followed by multiple lines, which need to be considered inside else, which need to be considered inside a while, then you need to provide the blocks. Otherwise, there is no need to provide the block. Fine, my code has been completed according to me. So, I just save my program and I try to run this particular project. Let's see whether we are getting the appropriate output or not. So, I run this thing and it is going to open my web browser where I am getting the label like customer details and one button that is display records and when I am giving the click on the display record either it will display me the error or no record found or if records are there though and those records are displayed. So I give a click on display record as no records I added by with the fresh new table. So you need to add the records. Fine, fine. I need to add the record. So again I go to my server explorer I am going towards the customer and selecting the option called as what we can say not open table definition. I require to go for opening the queries. Either you can add the records from here or it's better to go for SQL Server Management Studio. This is quite a easier tool to work with the records. So I added the records. No records are currently present. So it will be definitely showing everything as empty. Let it be, I am providing the ID as one, the name of customer I had given as ABC, I had provided ABC at rate gmail.com and city is going to be Thane and the state is going to be Maharashtra. Then I am providing the ID as two and the customer name, I am keeping my own name, I am keeping my own email address, I have more age, want to do at rate gmail.com. Providing city, I stay in Mulun, so I am keeping that Mulun. I am providing the state over here, same. Maharashtra, I am going towards ID as 3, I am giving the name over here Pranali, okay Pranali, I am keeping your email address as Pranali at the rate gmail.com, Pranali, uh, don't tell me you are staying in Mulan, tell me the best uh, uh, city which you are expecting apart from Maharashtra. So I can say Panji, Punji Punji, Punji ke Panji. P A N J, I know. Okay, I'm giving Kanji and the state, uh, I think so, G A O, uh, G O A. Ah, to Goa. Fine, though. Pranali would like to go to Goa. So now, again, I'm, if I'm giving a click on display record, you can find the records have been displayed. So, what we had seen in this video, how we are completing our practical number 6B as per Mumbai University. Okay, thanks a lot, student. Stay tuned with us so uh, you can see the next videos of mine also.